Alasha, also known as Leshen or Spriggan in the game series, is a forest monster that is described as something that lives only to kill. When they kill something or someone, they do not leave much for any carrion eaters. If a human spied Alesha in the forest, it was most likely that he had lost his way. Folk tells told that to find his path again, he had to turn all his clothing inside out. Welcome everybody, we are Mind Simulation, Artificial General Intelligence Laboratory. Created this video special for you and completely dubbed it with our project called Cyber Voice. Cutting edge speech synthesis technology. Check out video description if you are interested to know more and do not forget to support us on Patreon. In Weedsman Grawaiabrana, Lashi is described as a forest dwelling, iron resistant, highly intelligent monster. For unknown reasons, many peasants consider him to be a spirit that protects the forest. In reality, it is a very dangerous creature that hunts woodland creatures and long wanderers. It has the ability to polymorph. In its natural form, it is a wild gut sized creature that looks like a cross between a wild cut and a bear. With mighty fungs and sharp claws, it mostly lurks among the tree branches, from which it quickly jumps on its victims. It usually devours the whole prey. Its mightiest weapon is the ability to shift ship. It can morph into a humanoid being that looks like a harmless old man or into a tree branch that is practically identical to real ones. Lessons in The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt are ancient and powerful forest spirits. Possessing a deer skull as a head and tree-like limbs, a Leshen can call for aid from crows or a pack of wolves. This version of the Leshen also appears in a collaboration with Monster Hunter World. In it, Geralt ends up in another world, where he discovers that a Leshen is trying to take over an ancient, monster-infested forest. As the area's resident monster hunters work to keep the more dangerous wildlife away, Geralt seeks to uncover the Leshen's presence and defeat it. Humans have long been fascinated by the wildwood. Living in its vicinity was the source of tales about creatures ferocious and benign, friendly and hostile. As they started to settle deeper and deeper into the forests, respect for the unknown diminished. Lumber was gathered, stone abodes were built. As the pestilence that was humanity grew bigger, so did the forests and its inhabitants rough. At the heart of the forest lies a secret. In a place born of darkness and primeval nature, resides a mighty and terrifying guardian. Immune to human steel, it is believed the Leshen is nature's way of protecting the forest and the animals that live within it from the threat humans started to pose upon their ravaging expansion deeper into the lands. Along with the animals it commands, the Leshen became a force to be reckoned with. Sometimes worshipped, this creature can heal other woodland animals and summon knackers or crows to protect the forest. Its attacks are slow, but deadly. Be cautious not to get shuckled by its underground roots. Leshens dwell in dense, primeval woods. Fiercely territorial creatures, they hunt with stealth and cunning as their only companions. They use their inborn magic to control the plants and animals within their territory and so, when stalking them, half the battle is merely getting near enough to strike. Leshens old enough to run the Appalachian ancient wield advanced skills and tactics that make them particularly dangerous. Combat Tactics Leshens do not fight alone. They can summon swarms of crows to destruct and harass their enemies, and even call upon wolves to fight with them. They seem to prefer nighttime and darker underground areas. When facing a Leshen, watch for them to dig their root-like arms into the ground. This is a sign that they are commanding the roots to strike. This attack has surprising range, does have a damage. It's a reasonable sized area and can only be foiled by rolling away from it. Leshens are slow but powerful melee fighters, and can cause serious injury if allowed. Dodge or roll away from the swipes of their claws. They also have the ability to turn into a smoke form. They will raise both arms above their head and with a swirl of dark smoke, disappear. Note while doing this any attacks on them will be at least partially reflected, and will break when. Moon dust bombs can prevent them from transforming despite the bestiaire not listing it as one of their weaknesses. They have been seen to be very, very vulnerable to a series of fast attacks and will, without fail, go into smoke form after taking four or five hits. 
This will also teleport them to a random location, but they will stay in smoke form which is openly visible as a small moving cloud of swirling smoke. And the tucking it does no damage until they appear. They want to tuck while in smoke form, but if you're right next to them, when they reappear, they come out swinging. Igne and Anna bombs that can potentially cause fire damage, such as Dragon's Dream, are useful against Leshens. While a Leshen burns, it will be unable to defend itself. Gwent, the Witcher card game. Experienced hunters can hide from most dangerous woodland beasts, be they wolves, knackers, even Akamaras. But there is no hiding from a Leshen. It is impossible to conceal one's trucks from a Leshen, that cannot be fooled. At one moment, the forest stuns still and empty. Then, out of nowhere, staring buck at you from the darkness is a pair of dead, hollow eye suckets, burning with an unearthly blue flame. Although its claws measure three feet long and are sharper than a Mahakaman subtle, they are not what is to be feared most. The forest that is a Leshen's most dangerous weapon, it can be brought to life and bent to the monster's will. Tree roots sprout from underfoot, tongling and gripping your legs. They are thickens with dense fog, obscuring the puck of wolves no on your scent. It is extremely difficult to survive such an attack, and even more difficult to retain your sonnet after the fucked. In some regions of the world, cults are formed around lessons. They are offered sacrifices, usually in the form of hares and birds, but sometimes human blood. Many legends have emerged of benevolent lessons that help hunters find prey, guide wayward travelers to safety, even rescue folk from bandit raids. Unfortunately, not a shred of truth can be found in such myths. In fact, lashes see humans as just another source of energy, a source for which their appetites continue to grow. For years, scholars have debated the true nature of lashes. Although most bestiaries categorize them as relics, many experts question this classification. Some consider them a being born of blood magic, perhaps even necromancer. Others contend that they are demons, akin to jinns or drafts. Autopsies of Leshen cores would undoubtedly shed light on the dispute. However, once slain, its butter vanishes. All that remains is of the creature is a yellow deer skull. What should one do upon encountering a Leshen? Fighting it is out of the question unless you are an experienced witcher, of course. Naturally, the first instinct would be to flee. Unfortunately, Leshens can move between trees at the speed of the wind, making escape nearly impossible. So what is the alternative? Hunters, druids, and elves all agree and a traveler who stumbles upon a Leshen should fall to his knees without delay, draw a blade over his wrists, and close his eyes. If fortune smuggles upon him, the Leshen will be satisfied with the gift of blood and leave the traveler be. And perhaps his wounds can be healed before it is too late. Trivia. The Leshe is a tutelary deity of the forests in pagan Slavic mythology. The Leshe is masculine and humanoid in shape, is able to assume an likeness and can change in size and height. He is sometimes portrayed with horns and surrounded by pucks of wolves and bears. In some accounts, Leshe is described as having a wife, Leshechike, and children, Leshenka or Lesenka. He is known by some to have a propensity to lead travelers astray and abduct children, which he shares with Court, the Block One, which would lead some to believe he is an evil entity. You can find more on the topic on our channel in the corresponding playlist. The link is of course in the description. If you have any wishes or questions, leave them in the comments or on our Discord channel, where you will find new content and audio versions of these videos. We remind you that the speech in the video is completely synthesized by the Cyber Voice project, which is designed to act as full-fledged vocal cords where needed, unite voice authors and content creators, and also provide opportunities for additional creativity and monetization in the digital age. The Mind Simulation team thanks you.